next eight days as you got a couple of different franchises, certainly the Rockets and the team he goes to. It's going to be foundational change when this happens. I'd like to say if and when, but you fellas have told me when dudes don't want to be there, they ain't going to be there. What do you think? It's going to happen. It depends on what kind of assets can Raphael Stone and company get in return for James Harden. And the reality is that they may not get everything they may be able to, they may want, uh, but you're going to come to a head eventually where you have to sit there and weigh the pros and cons and say, does it make sense for me to keep a player here who does not want to be here? Now, I think James Harden is going to do his part. I think once he gets through the six uh, negative COVID tests, crazy that he has to go through six with six considering coming from Atlanta going to Vegas hanging out the way he did um, I, I think he will continue to do his part but he's made it known he does not want to be in Houston and at the end of the day I think Houston will do everything in his power to make sure they get the best return for value for James Harden when they let him go yeah and, and, and they, they have to do that Raphael Stone certainly has to do it there's no question about it but I think whenever a player steps out and he makes it known to the world that he does not want to be there, that asset becomes devalued, no matter what anyone says. And yes, James Harden is going to try and be a professional. There's no question about it because that's what he wants to do. But it's hard as a coach and a first-time head coach, mind you, to be able to coach a team when a guy's coming in the building not happy, not smiling every single day. He could affect this young head coach and his team, and that's certainly not the way you want to start things. No, certainly not. You got a brand new GM, you got a brand new head coach, you've got the NBA's longest active current playoff streak, believe it or not. But all the guys that made that happen, like Daryl Morey and James Harden apparently, are about to be out the door and makes his return to the floor. The NBA's regular season begins in eight days. Durant and the Nets will host his old team for the Warriors. Before we get to that matchup, KD on last night. Yeah, it felt great, you know, to be back in the routine and get back on the floor and feel like a player again, you know. It felt great. Everybody's texting, calling, asking how I'm feeling, and I can't wait till that's over with so I can get back into the swing of things and just feel like a, a, one of the guys again, you know. So it, it was a good first step. Jay, what do you make of this much-awaited return? After 552 days off of not seeing Kevin Durant, it was incredible to see him back on the court, just getting to where he wanted to go on the court, uh, really showing you he still has his athletic ability, but he doesn't need to be the fastest or strongest guy on the court because of the gracefulness that comes along with his skill set. He is one of the most skillful players.